This is a 1941 Murphy diesel. It's an ME66. The uh, engine number on it indicates it is 1941, give or take. It's a 1102 cubic inch, 6 inch bore, 6 and a half inch stroke, 6 cylinder. Maximum RPM is 1200 and it puts out about 188 horsepower according to the brochures. So we got the batteries hooked up already. It's a 24 volt system. I'm going to uh, go ahead and prime the fuel system. You have to do that before you start it. And over here on the motor generator and pump fuel pump drive, there's a clutch assembly that you disengage the internal gears here, pull it out so this motor generator then can spin and run the uh, fuel pump here and the button to operate is on the other side on the gauge panel. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Now over on this side here is the push button that operates the motor generator and in here is the sight glass and you run it well, if I can get it to run now, maybe not all the way disengaged. Yes, yeah, disengaged. Let me check the battery connections, make sure they're tight. This is just to prime the fuel system to get the air out of it. Now, for some reason, we're not getting any action. There she goes. Now we just watch the glass here until all the bubbles stop showing up and it's clear. That means the fuel system then is primed. Okay. I can hear the water, I can hear the fuel returning to the fuel tank here. That's the green tank on my right. Okay, she's now primed. Solid stream of fuel coming back in the tank. Now what I do over here is take the little spacer out of this lever here and then pull it out and then let the gears re-engage in here. Now the belts will drive through this gears and this will act as a generator and also the pump will turn when the engine is started. We do is we start spinning the engine on compression release when this lever is up to the top here and then uh, after she gets rolling a little bit then we uh, bring the lever down for fuel on she should start firing. Okay, here we go. 